what I was talking about. This is a perfect cutout. Yeah, when you have the arm in the right place, it works great. Well, you should only ever have it in the right place. If it's in the wrong place, it's wrong. It's uh, some time later, and I've done some things. Namely, uh, welded all of that on all of this. That's the one that was missing. Oh, dang it. Hold on. So, went ahead and welded that back together. Nothing crazy. Welded the crack on that one. And then welded this whole rear structure together, which was quite a lot. All of the supports were broken. So those all got welded. And then all of the expanded metal, I welded the shit out of it. Because it adds a ton of rigidity to this bad boy. And so I don't know if you remember what it sounded like before, but... Like it's solid. When you push, it doesn't rock side to side like it was doing before. So yeah, I just gotta get some hardware for this thing. Uh, get a few things out of the way in the uh, on the unit itself, and then I need to fix this. But it's late, and I don't want to be banging on this. I'm making a bunch of noise. So I'll hold off on fixing that. But I'll do that after I get hardware tomorrow and then I gotta go pick up some piping or tubing or whatnot so I can make the sleeves for those fronts right there. And then yeah, put this thing back together and it'll be no longer a death trap. Because realistically that's pretty much what this thing was, was a freaking death trap. I may try and straighten that bar, I don't know, we'll see once I get it. That'll be a game plan adjustment made once we're on the on the loader again or excavator or whatever the hell we're calling that thing this week. But yeah, so that's where we have for tonight and I'll uh, catch you guys in tomorrow once I get going on it. Alright, so yeah, as you saw, we uh, did some work over here. Got that all cut out, reboxed in, and burned in nice. Still got a bit of a bend in it here from where it took a hit, but I'm just trying to make it to where it doesn't break again. Because what ended up happening in breaking this was the arm 
So this top was not built for this piece of equipment and it was still too far along. So at a certain point, i.e. right here, this would take a hit from the boom or could. And that's what ended up breaking this twice. I've already threw a band-aid at this one time and then it broke again um, when I hit it the other day. So I get ahead and cut out that whole section that was messed up because I was not the first one to do that. And then went ahead and reboxed it and made it strong. So she's burned in and we're gonna end up taking this bad boy putting it on so I can make my uh, spacers right here to make it where it doesn't crush this anymore and line everything up and get everything bolt together and then tack it all together and then I'll pull it apart again, burn it all together and be done with it. I still got to, well he's cleaning off it, cleaning it off, but once he's done I gotta get that thing back over here, get the bolt that's stuck in it out, then we can put this on it do my tacks, get everything good, pull everything back apart, weld it all out, and then bolt it all back together and be done. Went and picked up hardware today. I've got this tube right here, which we're gonna use. It's not super thick wall, but it really doesn't need to be. It just needs to be enough to keep it together and keep it from uh, you know, closing it down. As you can see, the holes are way too big, so I'm gonna play hell. Once I get it where it goes, filling it in to where it hot dog down the hallway but that's a me problem for later i gotta get it there to that point first so i'm gonna go talk to him and we'll go from there all right so we got all of this done got that bolt out we had to drill tried the weld trick three times and then had to drill and retap the hole not fun but i chased all the other holes we actually had to pull that because we lost some down in there and now we are ready to attempt and put this back on it uh i don't want to drop it this time so we're strapping some straps and we're gonna hook and grab right here and see if that works hopefully it'll work better than it did last night so yeah that's what we're gonna do we'll get uh i'll have him be the cameraman and watch us put this thing on hopefully not making a mess um it's still gonna hit that thing almost hit you in the face. I sat on there and brought it back to see how far back it would come. It comes to like here. <laughs> that didn't work out so well last night. Alright, go ahead. I'm going to close the clock. Yep, yep. Oh, it wasn't that. I, I, 
My hand got the fuck out of there as quick as possible. I think he's actually white. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna uh, bolt some more stuff up and I'll turn you on once I get this situated. Yeah, this is why I couldn't weld that. Because you can see it needed to go up here, but I didn't know where. And then you'll see here, it is bent. I can fix a little bit at the bottom here. Well, and it pull it. be like that whole arm. Bar got bent in at some point. It might have. That's that's what it, because I like I said, when we put that on there, they were straight. Uh, I mean, if you want, we could try and bend it back, but I don't really see the point at this point. I, I, All right, so we got the standoffs built and put into the machine. How going, Frank? And then over here we got the battery box put together. You can really see the standoffs over here. They stand they're further out over here. This side was sucked together more than that side was. All the bolts are in it. And it is solid. I went ahead and weld it up there. Yeah, it's not moving. No, it, it, she don't move. Not no more. Yeah, All right, so if she starts. Start her up and roll her out. They'll get to see. Watch how far you come up with the lights. That's good. RPM and put it in fast and go backwards. So that's still annoying, but that isn't making any noise. Still sits, but not here. Well, yeah. Be careful. Hey, bring it all the way back and see how well it fits in the hole. Be careful, though. Is it gonna fit? You need to go over another inch. Alright, listen, I cut out the bent part because I thought that's where we needed to be. Bring it back. Oh no, it's perfect. Is it hitting the other side? Oh bro. Another inch. Fuck. <laughs> Close enough. That's why I was playing with this to see if I could get it to adjust to where it wouldn't. But the more I straighten out the arm, the more it eats into that part. Well, whatever. It makes it a lot further in than it did before. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, oh. Now it fits. Now will it hit it? Yeah. Well, that's as, I mean, that's about as far as I felt like going back. That's still further than I used to. Oh yeah. So yeah, that was that job. We'll go ahead and get it back on the mountain tomorrow, logging. And uh. Hopefully won't have to play with it anytime soon. But it's just a, a dent in the list of things that are always broken around here. So appreciate you guys checking that out and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh my God, it's so quiet. All right, the bucket up there is not quiet, but everything else is quiet. I was talking about this perfect cut out. Yeah, when you have the arm in the right place, it works great. Well, you should only ever have it in the right place. If it's in the wrong place, it's wrong.